COVID virus is back. I have to also go line up. What I love about my community, we are not so many. I won't have to queue in a line within, like there are so many people. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Monangiwa, aka The Chosen One. I am a South African citizen who is currently living and teaching English in China. Thank you for clicking on my video. Please stay tuned. To the returning subscribers, thank you once more for clicking on my video and coming back to my YouTube channel. And to the first viewers, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So on today's episode, I would like to give you guys a brief update about what has been happening here in my city due to COVID virus. As you can see from the video that I've uploaded, um, I went and did my COVID test. The reason why I had to go and do COVID test is because there has been some resurgence of COVID cases here in my city. I'm currently in Sojo city with a population of 10.7 million people. What happened is that on a Sunday, there was a person who tested positive for COVID. With that said, the government decided to take a decisive decision to shut down all the schools in Sojo City. It seems were shut down. Some of the malls were shut down. Even some of the restaurants were shut down. So the living condition has been very much stable. The government is trying by all means to contain this virus. I only did a COVID test once. But I know that there are a lot of people who have been testing almost every day. So it means that the government is trying by all means to identify those who tested positive and isolate them from those who tested negative. So the local government is trying by all means to contain the virus. How they are going about this um, to contain this virus? They are letting people test each and every day. There are some of people who are testing, let me not say each and every day, but let me say there are people who are testing for COVID every day and then there are those who are going like maybe after a day and then there's somebody like me who only tested once because where i am is not a high risk area and it's also not a high medium risk area if i can put it like that in my community i'm not restricted to go outside i can go outside if i want to go outside because of my safety and not wanting to put myself at risk of um having covid I just decided to lock myself inside. I, I haven't stepped my foot outside my community since Sunday, the 13th of February. On the 13th of February, there's a person who tested positive for COVID. And then the government decided that, you know what, we are going to shut down all the schools. And then in the morning, while I was busy preparing myself to go to work, because I remember very well, I woke up, took a shower and then I was about to get dressed and then I checked my phone and when I checked my phone I received a message on WeChat which said that uh, due to the resurgence of COVID cases I cannot come to work because of um, the government want the schools to be temporarily shut down until the COVID cases are over. Let's say you want to go to a supermarket it means that you must have your green code you must also wear your mask the security will not allow you to enter inside the supermarket without wearing your mask without having a green code so basically your green code and your health code are like your passport like i said i am not going to school because the government has shut down the schools so what does this mean to me as a teacher so my school decided that because schools are shut down um, we have to start teaching online. So how I teach online is like I have to shoot a video when I shoot a video I have to edit a video and then send it to The parents and then the kids or my students will learn through that video I don't have to necessarily sit in front of my laptop and be teaching more than 28 kids all at once I just shoot a video and then after shooting a video I will send the video to the parents and then that's how the kids will learn and then they will give me a feedback and then they will also do their homework through the video that I have sent to the parents. Somebody can ask me, okay, Chris, you're not going to school. What is going to happen to your salary? Well, as it is right now, 
this is one of the things that has been stressing me so much this past week because I am not certain if the school is going to pay me my full salary or if the school is going to pay me a minimum wage but hopefully the school will pay me my full salary because I mean I'm teaching online I'm submitting videos I'm submitting script so it's more like I'm working but I'm working from home right so just because I'm not in contact with students doesn't mean that the school mustn't pay me because I'm teaching I'm teaching from home so I want my money I want my salary <laughs> But on a serious note, this is something that I should go and have a look at on my contract. What the contract says in terms of situation like this or in this COVID or any kind of natural disaster. Previously, I will hear people from other places like Beijing, um, Shanghai, Shanxi in Xi'an recently, Hanzhou as well as Wuxi and Nanjing. They'll be like, hey, yeah, there are some COVID cases that are happening here but now it's in my city so it's like it rotates sometimes and sometimes it stops with the chinese government people's health come first like people's health and safety come first that's why when this happened they decided that you know what we are going to shut down all the schools in Suzhou city nobody should go to school nobody no kid should even set their foot no kid should even set their foot in a training center they shouldn't do that because they care so much about the safety of the people now, that's why i'm saying they even shut down schools in a city with more than 10.7 million people as it is right now i don't know the actual number of covid cases that are currently in Suzhou city the other good thing about how the chinese government is handling this situation is that there are people who are under lockdown and then the government is sending them food parcels and daily necessities that people need to survive the reason why they are doing this is because some people cannot be able to go to supermarkets because there are supermarkets which are shut down there are communities which are sh shut there are communities which are shut down wherein nobody can go outside or nobody can get inside that's if you are at a high risk area then those kind of people they cannot go outside and then nobody can come inside as you know there are olympic games going on in beijing so i haven't had any case there in beijing which means the government is doing a very good job in beijing with regard to the borders opening i am not sure if the government will open their borders anytime soon or it's something that we'll have to keep waiting and waiting and waiting but let's just have a look out and see what will happen in the near future and if maybe you were considering to come and teach english in china just like me i would advise you to maybe look at other countries at the current situation maybe try to look at other countries like um south korea japan saudi arabia you know um maybe you can be able to go and teach english there because if you can wait if you said that you want to wait until the government open the borders here you might have to wait for quite some time anyways thank you for tuning in i hope you found the video informative please do not forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye